Hello everyone, this is Showtime 112. On 8th of June 1982, Fuerza Aérea Argentina, or the Argentine Air Force, launched one of their most effective airstrikes of the entire conflict. Two British landing ships, Sir Galahad and Sir Tristram, were caught unprotected near Fitzroy settlement and hit by several bombs, resulting in a loss of 51 men and Sir Galahad. Many more people were seriously injured and Sir Tristram was heavily damaged. This airstrike, often erroneously called the Bluff Cove attack, was described in detail in a previous video on the channel, and I recommend you watch it if you missed it. This wasn't the end of combat, as the Argentine Air Force launched another wave of A-4 Skyhawks in the afternoon. Four A-4C Skyhawks from the 4th Fighter Group took off at about 3.30 pm and they were led by Capitan Cafaratti. The 5th Fighter Group contributed four A4B Skyhawks led by Primer Teniente Danilo Bolsan. But now the British forces were expecting attacks. At least one rapier battery was deployed to the Fitzroy zone while Sea Harriers flew combat air patrols. They still couldn't use the damaged airstrip at Port San Carlos, so their endurance was limited as the carrier group was sailing well to the east of the islands. The four Skyhawks from the 4th Fighter Group didn't encounter any Sea Harriers, but they were not able to achieve very much as they were facing heavy defenses. They observed several missiles launched at them from surrounding hills. Some of them exploded in the vicinity, others passed nearby. Two aircraft took small arms hits and the Skyhawks disengaged, eventually meeting a KC-130 over the Atlantic. Four of the Skyhawks from the 5th Fighter Group also reached the Falklands, arriving to Fitzroy area from the north, flying parallel to the hills around Port Stanley. They too came under heavy fire from the British troops in Bluff Cove and Fitzroy area. Flight Lieutenant David Morgan and Lieutenant David Smith from Royal Navy's 800th Squadron took off in their Sea Harriers from HMS Hermes. Morgan was at the time an RAF officer attached to the Royal Navy. He had previously been credited a maneuvering kill of an Argentine Puma helicopter which crashed while trying to avoid his attack. David Smith also had a credited kill, an Argentine dagger. As Morgan and Smith were flying west, they were still ignorant of the attack on Sir Galahad and Sir Tristram. After reaching their cap station north of Lively Island, they were only informed by the previous pair of Sea Harriers they were relieving that the situation would soon become obvious. As they got closer, thick black smoke rising from damaged landing ships became clearly visible. Morgan and Smith remained at 10,000 feet and scanned the zone visually. Their radars were not very useful in a look-down mode, especially over land. Their eyes were the only means of detecting the enemy. Morgan then spotted a small landing craft south of their position, leaving Chozel Sound towards Fitzroy. This landing craft belonged to HMS Fearless, and it was transporting a Land Rover and troops towards Bluff Cove. Morgan made sure he would monitor the boat's progress as he kept flying racetrack patterns at 10,000 feet. As the sun was setting, Morgan was not particularly looking forward to his first night carrier landing. When the two Sea Harriers came to the point of having only about 4 minutes of fuel before they had to turn back, Morgan spotted something he had both anticipated and feared. An A-4 Skyhawk appeared low over the sea and attacked the landing craft.
Morgan immediately opened his throttle, retracted the flaps and dived on the Argentine aircraft. As he was accelerating rapidly, his wingman lost sight of him. Normally, a pilot in Morgan's position would have to make sure that he was safe from a counter-attack from his target's wingman, but he forgot any caution and rushed to help the landing craft. He was diving at about 60 degrees and his speed was now well over 600 knots. Morgan could only watch as the first Skyhawk opened fire with its cannons and then dropped its bombs. They fell short. But then another Skyhawk dropped its bombs and one of them hit the landing craft. Morgan was now determined to make the Skyhawk pilots pay. As he was closing rapidly, he spotted another Skyhawk to the left. He rolled his Harrier and came about half a mile behind it. He heard the high-pitched sound of his AIM-9L Seeker and launched one missile against the third Skyhawk. As it left the rail, the shock wave rolled the Harrier rapidly to the right, less than a hundred feet above the sea. Morgan rolled back and watched the Sidewinder impact the Skyhawk directly. The pilot, Alferez Vasquez, didn't eject. Morgan now had Skyhawk number two right ahead of him. What he didn't know was that there was a fourth Skyhawk right behind him. He was flown by Primer Teniente Hector Sanchez and Morgan didn't notice him being focused on his target. Sanchez was trying to shoot his cannons at Morgan but they wouldn't fire, possibly because they had been damaged by ground fire several minutes earlier. Sanchez could now only watch helplessly as his formation was being wiped out. Morgan was able to lock up Skyhawk number 2 with his Sidewinder. The Argentine airplane was in a left turn but after the missile launch, the pilot broke hard right. Although correct, the maneuver didn't help and the AIM-9L scored its second kill. The pilot, Teniente Juan Araras, managed to eject at the last moment but failed to survive the ejection. Morgan was now out of Sidewinders, with only his guns to deal with the Skyhawk No. 1. But his HUD failed at that moment. This was a common glitch with the Sea Harrier which could be fixed by switching the HUD off and then on again. But the procedure took too long as the Skyhawk turned rapidly. Morgan pressed the trigger, aiming without a gun sight. No rounds hit, but then his wingman warned him to pull up because he was being fired at. 
David Smith was following Morgan down, but having lost sight of him, he was unsure which of the aircraft was his leader and which was the enemy. He believed what he saw was a Skyhawk firing at Morgan. Morgan, who was now out of ammo, pulled up almost vertically, rolling out at 12,000 feet. He could observe a white trail accelerating towards the A4. It was so low that it seemed like a torpedo launch to him. This was of course Lieutenant David Smith who launched an A9 from about maximum range. The missile hit the fleeing Skyhawk and it crashed on the sand dunes on the north coast of Lafonia. The pilot, Primer Teniente Bolsan, didn't survive either. But Morgan and Smith were now in a difficult situation. Their fuel level wouldn't suffice to take them back to HMS Hermes. The carrier responded by sailing west at full speed, and both Sea Harriers eventually landed with about 300 pounds of fuel. The only survivor of the Argentine flight, Hector Sanchez, also barely returned to base, finding a KC 130 tanker at the last moment. Despite their great courage, Skyhawk pilots were unable to achieve very much against a well-prepared defense with Sea Harriers on patrol. Don't forget to press the like button. If you liked the video, join our Patreon supporters or donate on PayPal, because that's the only way of keeping the channel in business. Thank you and keep watching Showtime 112.